Hi everyone, I'm Maria of Pink Pony Design and today I wanted to talk to you about making the raccoon case with a bigger zipper because some of you have told me that you have some issues getting this curve to lay nice and flat with the, the thicker zippers. Uh, so this is a number three and this is a number five which you can get super cute uh, zipper pulls from. Uh, this one is from uh, Made by Lola. It's a Swedish store. Uh, and um, it is a bit tricky to get this to lie flat. It is. But I have a few tricks up my sleeve, so I'm going to show you what I do to get it to lie as flat as possible. So here I've already started. This part is no problem. Uh, but when we come to the curve here, I need to notch the zipper. To be able to get it to lie flat otherwise this will just be a mess so here i've already notched and this will be fine once i press it with my presser foot it will lay nice and flat and i've continued here i have my tape my double-sided tape on the zipper because i find that easier to uh, navigate so what i do is i continue over around here and as soon as i start to get to this little corner curve i take my scissors and everything is of course black <laughs> i hope you can see this anyway and i do a little notch because that will allow me to pull the zipper tape around the curb so as you can see here despite it being curved it lays flat and i can push along it with my zipper foot or presser foot and it will still lay nice and flat so i make maybe a scant quarter inch snip and uh, I, I hope you can see that uh, let me zoom in for you here so here you can see the little snips that i made and they make all the difference but since there's quite a bit of uh, pressure on this I give my tape a bit of help with some clover clips because I want to make sure that it stays absolutely still when I'm sewing this so I know I get a perfectly even zipper and I clip and I pull it apart a bit and I continue like that all the way around the curve while we snip. And we stretch a little, not too much, just a little so we get it around the curve and we clip. And if I try to do this now, I'm going to get, it doesn't really lay flat, so I need to do another snip. And continue around the curve. And give my thread, thread, not thread, tape, <laughs> give my tape. Sorry guys. Um, super tired um a little help here and then i just continue straight all the way down there we go so as you can see here despite this being a number five zipper this i hope this makes sense uh you can see that it will actually lay very nice and flat around this curve when I saw it. So I'm going to reposition my camera and show you how I do this. So, uh, I love my compensator feet. Uh, they makes everything so easy. So that's what I'm going to start with. And I will be stitching this a little bit further out than I will uh, when I place my lining on top because I don't want this seam to be visible when I do the next team. If you don't have a quarter inch compensator foot, you can just as well use a regular uh, a quarter of an inch uh, quilting foot. That will work just as well because then you have the little guide here to kind of help you go around the curves. Okay, let's do this. Now when I 
starting to come to the curb. I will, with my fingers, help this along a little bit. Normally, if I was working with a number three zipper, I would just place my lining on top and do this seam in one go. But since the number five zipper is a little bit trickier to get to like smooth and flat, I will allow myself this little aid to work around the curves and ensure a nice and smooth zipper. And I might be the world's slowest sore, <laughs> but I don't trust myself going faster, so I just stay at a pace that makes me comfortable because it's a lot faster than I'm thinking anyway. So <laughs> that's what I comfort myself with. Go. Now we're at the curb again, and again I'm helping my uh, zipper tape to lie flat with my fingers, guiding it as I go along. And should you notice that wow, this will not lay flat, just take out your little zippers and zippers, uh, scissors, and just snip it up a little extra, and it will lay nice and flat for you. Here, I think it was a little stingy. And we continue all the way around. Don't be stingy with your snips, people. If you have a good quality zipper tape, it will definitely hold up despite the snips. So here you see now, oops, you don't see, <laughs> uh, here you see now that this will be no problem to place a lining on top and get it to lay perfectly flat. So that is what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to place my lining on top and just sew another line slightly to the left of the first seam so I'm sure it doesn't show. And uh, then I just follow the tutorial. <laughs> so this is just the only thing I do different when I'm working with the uh, number five zippers to make sure I get a nice curve. Thank you for watching.